Lawmaker Merck says an experimental pill to treat COVID-19 reduces hospitalizations and deaths by half. If regulators grant approval, it will become the first pill shown to treat the virus. Dr. Michelle Prickett, pulmonary and critical care specialist at Northwestern Medicine, joining us now live to explain how it all works. Doctor, thanks for joining us. A lot of people are really wondering, is this the new deal? Well, I think anytime you talk about uh, something to treat COVID, we all get excited. And I think this is exciting news as well. Uh, so the, the exciting portion of this press release and what we know about this drug so far is that it's oral and it help, it's, works in the early stages to help keep people out of the hospital. So it's the and first for, really uh, preventative type of a pill or uh, treatment, right? Uh, so far, what this study showed is that it is effective once people are infective uh, and have symptoms within those first five days. If they start to take the medication, that's when it reduces your risk uh, for becoming uh, admitted to the hospital in half compared to those that receive placebo. So remdesivir is intravenous, and it's similar to this new pill, right, in certain, to certain so respects? Yes, they're both antivirals, so yeah. they help decrease and break down the virus from replicating once it's inside the body. Um, the big change between this drug and remdesivir is that it is an oral pill and it's utilized prior to hospitalization. Well, you've read all the research, obviously. What is your opinion on this? Would you give this to your patients? So right now, we're actually waiting for the data to be published. And so we have our press release, and uh, we're really waiting to see all the data, all the side effect profiles, and getting some more information. But from what I can see so far, if this is a safe drug and it's effective, um, it's something that I would consider for my patients with FDA approval. So right now, it's very premature, but they're trying to rush it through for approval, aren't they? I think, you know, with COVID, we really want to get ahead of the game, um, but the FDA takes their time. And so I'm glad that this study has uh, gone with the diligence that it has. I'm also glad to see that the FDA will take their time and make the right choice. When do we expect to see it on the market or for you to, to prescribe it to patients? Uh, that's that's a good question. Um, most times once we, um, right now, the company has just said that they are going to be submitting to the FDA. And then once it gets into the hands of the FDA, it's usually several weeks to months before we uh, would expect to see an approval. So I personally, if it is approved, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect to see be able to prescribe it for at least a, several months. Wow. And quickly, doctor, it's a, you take five pills. Explain to us how it works. Um, from what I've read, and again, this is a clinical trial, so it's not something I'm for, totally familiar with, but from what I've read, there's uh, several pills, four or five, and they're given twice a day. I see. Um, and you ha so you should have uh, 10 total doses for the entire treatment course. Dr. Michelle Prickett from Northwestern Medicine, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Thank you, you too. All right, with the moratorium.